Back here at the College Gridiron Showcase, this is Max Thompson. That's Horace Richardson, Everman and SMU's finest. Horace, the first thing i got to start with, the East Carolina game, man. Two INTs for a touchdown, a game that I don't think anyone expected you guys to win on the road, kept your ball hopes alive. I mean, what, what did Coach Morris say going into that game, and, and what happened? I mean, you guys just played crazy in that game. Uh, well, I think what happened was uh, Coach Morris, he leaned on the seniors. He, uh, he dug into us the week before, and uh, he wanted the seniors to step up and, and basically go out and make plays and uh, all week in practice. He was like, do it, for, do it for these guys. Do it for these seniors, these guys, they need you. The young guys, we played a lot of young guys this year. And uh, the, the culture that he puts in and uh, how, the, how those young guys looked up to us and how they bought in, it was, it was just, that's really what it was. He, he, he leaned on us and he let us go out and do what we were supposed to do. Two INTs for a touchdown, like I said before. One of the best games of your career, obviously. How much fun was that for you, just personally? I mean, it was it was fun. Uh, the game was it was the game was it was just it was a uh, can't I don't know what words to say. Uh, you get two you get two pick sixes in one game and 150 return yards. <laughs> like uh, the game to me was really it was really good because it set my my tenth career interception. And I set that SMU record for yards and return yards and uh, in a single game. And I was like, man, like, I text Coach Morris after the game. I was like, hey, Coach, I got to get that jersey. Like, <laughs> I, want, I want to put it up. And uh, he gave it to me, and uh, that's my man. Uh, also not bad to have it on, uh, that, that, that kind of playmaking ability on film when you're here, right? Just to have, be able to show people that. Yes, yeah, so that's, that's, what, that's what you want to do. If you can, you got the ability to make plays and uh, – I was blessed to, to have that ability and that work ethic to keep up with that. And uh, Coach Malone and Coach Lepp, those guys, they, they put me in a position to go out and make plays. Like Co Coach Lepp's a crazy man, crazy yeah. person. I know Coach Lepp. Uh, talk about your experience with Coach Morris and that staff once they came in, how much they've changed the culture at SMU. What's that been like for you? Well, once they came in, it was a, it's a totally different culture. From, uh, from going back, we were with, uh, I came in with Coach Jones. And uh, it was it was laid back. It was chill. It was kind of ran like a pro program. He he wanted us to be men and grow up. And some people some people could handle it. And we had the few that were rocky. But then when Coach Morris came in, it was more instilled. It was enforced. Uh, he he had these pillars, man. And uh, what we what we were lived by basically it was it's like pony up tempo is a lifestyle. It's like it's just not something you do every every other day. Like you got to live it. And uh, he instilled it in us just being accountable just simple stuff like that and just having energy work at the like integrity confidence uh, he, he put it in us he drilled it in us he do, he relied on the seniors to go and uh, seniors and even a few of the young guys to go and uh, to step up as the leaders and uh, he went and reached out from people in the team to do that obviously I know you would have liked to make that bowl game but how excited are you about the future of SMU with that coaching staff in place yeah, uh, like I said earlier, we played we played a lot of young guys, a lot of freshmen, redshirt freshmen, and uh, SMU. To me, they have nothing. They only can go one way, and it's up. I mean, those guys are young, and we made plays. We were, we fell short this year from making the bowl game, but we got it's a it's a lot of young talent there. Uh, ben Hicks is a honorable mention. Uh, he's a, a freshman that came in when Matt went down, and uh, he he made plays when we needed it. And I uh, just wish he could have got rolling a little earlier. But uh, when he got rolling, he was he was good. Uh, we got young guys. Cortland's a sophomore, he's a stud. James Porsche, the back end. Uh, Eric Sutton, he's going to be a young guy. Came from Cedar Hill, and um, yeah, came in Freeman, a freshman coming in and play. He played quarterback and uh, and a little running back to help the team out. Like it's so the, the team is so young that they're only going to get better. Before I take you forward on the next step of your career and where you want to go, we got to go back to Everman. Matt Stepp would kill me if I didn't ask. Now, Matt Stepp tells me you were a basketball guy first, and he wants to know because I'm sure he feels like you were a trader because he's a basketball guy. Oh, what changed? Why did you feel like you know football needed to be a part of your life? Uh, well, I, uh, a, a coach that was at Everman, uh, Coach Ocheski, Jay Ocheski. I came. I was. I went to Everman eighth grade and I left. And when I came back. I was like, I'm not playing football. I'm going to play basketball. You know, I'm, it's, it's everybody. I'm yeah. six foot. I can go play point guard somewhere. Yeah. And uh, Coach Ocheski was like, he came. Never, you never, never knew him. 
nothing, never spoke to him. He came in a gym one day during a period, during the athletic period. He grabbed me and said, we're going to go to the football field. And from that point on, <laughs> Coach O, man, like, that's my guy. We talk so often, like, he keeps up with me. I, keep, I try to keep up with him as best as I can. And uh, Coach O, he, he did it for me. He, he took me out the gym and put me back on the football field. Safe to say it was a good decision? Yes, it was, it was a great decision. Thank you, Coach O. <laughs> uh, all right, let's talk about this now. What, you're trying to prove yourself. You're trying to show that you're ready for the next level. What do you feel like you can offer to teams? Why do you, what do you feel like you have to prove to, to teams over the next few months to show that you're ready to play in the NFL? Well, I don't want to say that I have to prove anything. I, I like to go out and uh, let, let my play prove what, I, what, what it needs to prove and uh, just basically my ability to go out and make plays and run with them. I'm going, I'm going to run with anybody and I'm going out, go out and make plays. And at DB, you want to get the ball out of there. You want to show teams that you can change the game with an interception or not, not, not just a knockdown. Uh, finally, we're here at the College Gridiron uh, Showcase. How valuable has this whole process been for you, just to get your foot in the door to get started on, on this whole process towards the draft? Well, it's, it's nice. It's a great opportunity, and uh, I want to say thank you to the guys at the showcase that uh, that uh, reached out to me and gave me this invite. And uh, I'm just, I'm just here. I'm ready to go, man. Well, I'm ready to go. Everman and SMU's finest is Horace Richardson. Thanks so much for coming on, man. Yes, sir. Thank you.